alright, so muli nga tayo nagbabalik ka na mga kaibigan at maraming salamat dahil kayo ay nandyan muli sa ating harapan ano? upang uh, ako'y samahan sa ating talakay ngayong araw ano? at ayun na nga ang ating pag-aaralan ngayong araw ay uh, tungkol sa mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Ano? So, uh, bigay ko na yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin in solving for our topic for today. So, una na nga yung mean. Mean. So, ano ba ang formula ng mean of a discrete random variable? So, that is commonly denoted as uh, capital E ay sorry capital E of X at minsan kasi tinatawag yan din yung tinatawag nating expected value kaya capital E yung ginagamit na notation for our mean alright expected value that is equal to the summation summation of X multiply by P of X ano ba yung X that is our Uh, outcome of value of the random variable whereas yung p of x naman that is our probability of the outcome x kumbaga ano ba yung probability daw p of x ay yung probability na lalabas yung variable x so again our formula for our mean of a discrete random variable ay equal sa uh, summation of x multiply by P of X or yung probability natin. Alright? Next is the variance. Variance. Sulot ko lang ha. Variance of our topic for today. So, ano may variance natin? Uh, that is uh, denoted as sigma squared. So, itong uh, parang O na may, na may uh, guhit sa taas. That is sigma squared. That is our notation for our variance. Alright? So that our formula for uh, uh, variance is equal to the summation of So enclose ko lang yan sa bracket x minus mu squared multiply by p of x close parenthesis. Ano ba yung mu? So, bago yung mu, ano? Yung mu, that is also our mean. Alright. So, yung mu natin, yan na rin yung ating e of x, which is the expected value. So, yung mu, eto rin yung mean. Okay? So, meron na tayong formula ng variance. What about the standard deviation? So, standard deviation. Standard deviation kasi ang standard deviation, ito lamang yung square root ng ating variance. So, meaning, the notation for our standard deviation is sigma. Sabi nga, that is the square root of the variance. Yun lang. So, kapag nakuha mo na yung variance, square root mo lang siya, that is our standard deviation. So, pero kung gusto natin isulat yung formula, that is equal to the square root of the summation, square root mo lang itong buo na to, quantity x minus mu squared ah sorry multiply by the probability yon so sinulat lang natin ano so again we have these three formulas mean variance and standard deviation again standard deviation is just the square root of our variance so example number 1 na nga tayo kaibigan ano yan sabi diyan determine the mean Variance and standard deviation of the following probability mass function. So we have the given mass function under our uh, instruction. Na nakalagay naman dyan, the values of x and the probability of happening that value of x. Alright? So ngayon, uh, the requirements are the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So let us now solve ano. Ano ba yung unang gagawin para makuha natin yung Uh, sagot natin ano the first step is to draw our table so gagawa tayo ng table uh, 
yung first column natin are the values of x. So, ito yung x. So, ito yung table natin. Ayan. So, assuming na tuwid yung mga linya natin. Ano? So, yung first column natin ay yung x. Ay, sorry. Talaga namang paling na paling. Ito, gamit, gamit nga ako ruler. Ayan, may ruler pala tayo eh. Ayan, alangal, alangal, magsulat. Ayan. So, yung X, yung first column natin. Then, yung second column natin is our probability. Sa P of X. Given naman yung dalawa na yan, so, susulat na lang natin yan mamaya. Ano pa yung mga ina kailangan natin hanapin? Ay. So, ayan, ano. Ang susunod na table natin is the product of the two. Yung x, p of x. Yung product ng dalawa na to. Then, yung susunod na table natin, na column, sorry, yung susunod na column natin, ay, uh, yung x minus mu. Alright? The next column, ay, yung square, ng x minus mu. x minus mu, squared. And then, yung last column natin ay yung product nung P of X tsaka nung X minus mu squared. Dito, hindi, baliktad. So, copying ko yung itong X minus mu squared multiply by the probability. <coughs> Sarado lang natin. Yan. So, lagay ko lang yung mga given natin. Ano na? Yung, P, yung x tsaka yung p of x ano ano ba yan no? so 1 to 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 nakita nyo naman ano and then yung mga uh, corresponding probabilities so ano ano ngayon nasa given natin 0.15 0.25 0.30 Ano ano pa nga yan? 0.15 0.10 And lastly 0.05 Right? So double check natin na 0.15 25 30 15 10 and 0.05 Alright, so next Column natin, kasi hindi ba ang hinahanap natin ay yung ating mean, variance, and standard deviation. E alam naman natin, na ang formula for our mean, eto na lang mean yung gagamitin ko ha, is the summation of x, p of x. Kumbaga, yung sum daw ng product ng x tsaka p of x. That's why, kinuha natin yung x multiply by p of x. So, after natin makuha yung product ng x and p of x, kapag in natin yan, that is our mean. Alright? So, mu equals, dito, gagawa ko ng linya dito. Sorry. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung summation. etong doon last row na to. Ito yung summation. Alright? So, ngayon, uh, multiply muna natin. Yung dalawa na yan. So, using our uh, mahiwagang calculator, 1 multiply by 0.15, that is 0 0.15. Then, 2 multiply by 0 0.25, that is 0 0.5, or 0 0.50. And then, 3 multiply by 0 0.3, that is equal to 0 0.9. 0 0.15 multiply by 4, that is 0 0.6. Then, 5 multiply by 0 0.1, that is 0.5. And then, 6 multiply by 0 0.05, that is 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Now, add down natin ito. 0 0.15 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.9. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 that is equal to 2.95 
So, yung sum ng xp of x, that is our mean. And that is our final answer for the mean. Yan yung unang hinahanap natin. So, meron mean na tayo. Ano? Since meron na tayong mean, makukuha na natin yung column na to. Kasi yun yung kailangan eh, x minus mu eh. So, ibig sabihin, itong mga values na to, minus dito. Okay? So, yung una, 1 minus mu, yun yung sagot dito. Alright? So, sol solve lang natin. Ano? 1 minus 2.95, that is equal to negative 1.95. Then, ganun din yung susunod na mga values natin. 2 minus uh, 2.95 that is equal to negative 0.95 then 3 minus 2.95 that is 0.05 next is 4 medyo umaalo na pala so weird 4 <laughs> minus 2.95 that is 1.05 next is 5 minus 2.95 that is 2.05 Then 6 minus our mu is 3.05 So nakuha na natin yung uh, column na to Next column is square mo down itong mga numbers na to Kasi yun yung sabi eh X minus mu squared So i-squared lang natin itong mga to So meaning Negative uh, 1.95 square That is equal to 3.8 Uh, 8025 Then ganoon din yung mga susunod natin ano? 0.95 square Since that is square naman So positive 0.9025 Next 0.05 We have 0.0025 uh, 1.05 square That is 1.0025 1025 2.05 square we have 4.2025 and 3.05 square we have 9.3025 all right so next column yung ating last column is the product of x minus mu squared and the probability kumbaga ito Multiply natin dito. Alright, so itong mga numbers na to, multiply natin sa mga numbers na to. That is our last column. right? So, 3.8025, ito yan, multiply by our probability, 0.15, that is equal to, 0. Uh, siguro hanggang 4 decimal places, 0.9025 multiply by 0.25 that is 0.2256 next is 0.0025 multiply by 0.3 that is 0.0008 1.1025 multiply by 0.15 That is 0.1654. And so, ano na? Yung panglima, 4.2025 multiply by 0.1. We have 0.4203. Then lastly, 9.3025 multiply by 0.05. That is 0.4651. All right. So, na, na, napuno na natin yung table natin. Ano? Ngayon, ano ba ang formula ng variance kasi? Ang variance is summation of x minus mu squared multiplied by the probability. Kumbaga, diba et, etong uh, x minus mu squared multiplied by probability, eto yun eh. Eto yung column na yun eh. Sum daw. So, i-add lang natin itong mga to. Alright, so after adding, so add lang natin yan, 0.5704, 0.2256, 0.0008, plus 0.1654, plus 0.4203, plus 
na 0.4651, we have 1.8476. Okay? So, after adding the last column, makukuha na natin yung ating variance. Kasi yun yun eh, yung sum down ng last column natin. So, by uh, rounding off, up to 2 decimal places, we have 1.85. And that is our variance. Then, yung letter C natin, which is our standard division, is square root lang nito. Yun. So, yung uh, standard division natin, square root ng 1.85, that is 1.85. 36. And that is how we solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Yun. Maraming salamat sa panonood mga kaibigan. Uh, wag niyong kalimutang ilike ang ating channel. Toot! At ganyan din. Siyempre, mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Toot! At wag niyo rin kalimutan na pindutin yung ating bell upang makareceive ng mga notifications sa mga susunod nating videos. Toot! Maraming salamat! So, ayun nga mga kaibigan. Ano? Uh, ngayon, uh, kung kayo ay meron pang mga karagdagang katanungan or meron kayong gustong uh, malaman pa na medyo naguguluhan kayo sa loob ng uh, klase o saan pa man, uh, maaari kayong mag-send or mag-message ng mga katanungan ninyo sa mga accounts na ito. Sa aking Gmail account is engineerulysis at gmail.com at sa aking Facebook account naman, ito yung aking official account is Yuli Cruz Cruz. So mag-message lamang kayo dyan ng inyong katanungan at susubukan natin yan ay sagutin upang tayo ay makatulong hindi lamang sa inyo at pati na rin sa iba. Yun lamang, maraming salamat at pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat.